Hello everybody, my name's Championator9000. It's Hello everybody, my name's Championator9000 and welcome to episode, I have no clue, I think maybe 28 of WWE 2K18 Universe Mode and entering out first, he is the real American Jack Swagger. And his opponent. <coughs> Guys, this one's for the WWE United States Championship. I've got a funny feeling about this one, bro. Something tells me that tonight might just be the night the champ gets picked up. Gentlemen, Jack Gallagher, United States Championship opportunity for Jack Swagger, and before the match, a handshake from Swagger to Gallagher. <coughs> we'll slap. Whoa! 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 What just happened? I I was confused. I was like, what's this camera? I'm going over to see where Jack Gallagher is. I want to look at this one more time. Out of nowhere, Jack Gallagher. Jack Swagger, he put on a, a phenomenal performance alongside AJ Styles in his SmackDown debut. So I thought, you know what, I think he's deserving of a U.S. title opportunity. I'm going to be honest, Jack Gallagher has not been a very strong United States champion thus far. So, you know, he's going to have some... He, his title is going to be defended a lot more than uh, Apollo Cruz's championship as long as he's holding it. If Swagger's to win it tonight, he's not going to defend it as much as Gallagher just because I think Swagger gets a better review from the audience. <coughs> Jack Gallagher, he is fighting pretty well here tonight against Swagger. Uh, he didn't even win it in the most grand of ways either. He kind of just stole the title off of Eddie Guerrero. Cedric Alexander finished with Eddie Guerrero. Gallagher threw him out of the ring. End of the match, just like that. Jack Swagger. I mean, he's feeling confident, and for good reason, I'd say. Oh, a knee to the face of Gallagher. Oh, and now a clothesline. And like I said, for good reason, I'd say. And another vicious clothesline. I mean, he's destroying Jack Gallagher in a way. I mean, he's not putting on the best of performances, but now there's Jack Gallagher, so... I don't know what Swagger's moves are. And now Jack Swagger, what's he thinking here? Oh, he might be trying to weaken up the legs of Gallagher for his signature Patriot Lock. Finisher, and oh, he's looking for it one more time. Oh, the legs of Jack Gallagher. Oh, Swagger. Catching Gallagher, spins him around, and neck breaker. Swagger. Still just, oh, weakening up the legs of Gallagher. Gonna try, I don't, I'm worried he might break Jack Gallagher's leg. Oh, Gallagher able to get out of it. <clears throat> And the cover is it over one, and a kick out at one from Swagger. Oh, but now Jack Gallagher takes down Jack Swagger. The, the two Jacks are battling it out. Oh, what a slap there from Gallagher. 
And now, Jack Gallagher. Gallagher, he is feeling it. He has some great momentum behind him now. Down goes Jack Swagger. And Gallagher gets Swagger up. Oh, and a headbutt. Down goes Swagger. Oh, this match may be over. <coughs> I still do have a cough. Now, things still are not looking good for Gallagher. So he, though that burst of momentum definitely will help him in the long run. But he kicks away. Kicks away Swagger, who misses a clothesline on Gallagher. Oh, but dragging Gallagher out of the ring by his feet. Slamming the arm of Jack Gallagher into that concrete on the outside. And oh my gosh, what a clothesline. And what? Oh no, not again! The leg! The leg of Jack Gallagher. Up to a five count. Jack Gallagher, he's excited. He's mocking Jack Gallagher. Swagger. He thinks he has this match in the bag, but Gallagher has champion's advantage. Eight count now. Swagger might need a nine count, and Jack Swagger steps out of the ring and slides back in it. But now... Oh no. Oh, Jack Gallagher unable to connect. But a big reversal there of Jack Swagger. Oh, what a close line. <clears throat> Swagger, I think. <coughs> <coughs> you need to hit that just to slow down the pace of the match. Because Swagger, he's a good wrestler, but he's not the fastest wrestler, so... A fast-paced match is not what he's looking for. <coughs> and, oh no, Patriot Lock. Patriot Lock. Locked in on Gallagher. Gallagher able to get out pretty quickly. And now, oh! Reversal there from Gallagher. Sends Swagger face first off the... Or face first into the mat. What's Jack Gallagher thinking here? No! No, Gallagher, he might end it. Jack Gallagher might end it. Swagger can't get out of the way that time. Is it over? One, two, and a kick out at two from Swagger. Oh, wow, the match is almost over there. But Jack Swagger able to kick out, and now Swagger. Oh, no. Gallagher, a big reversal. And now into the corner goes Swagger. And now tossed into the other corner. Though Swagger, a big reversal. And a clothesline. Down goes Jack Gallagher. And another vicious clothesline. Jack Swagger. He's going to go up to the second rope. He's going to taunt. He thinks he has this match in the bag. Oh, wait. Wait, what? what's Jack Swagger thinking here? Swagger, he just removed one of the turnbuckle pads. Vicious neck breaker there, but what is Jack Swagger? No! Oh, the Goal of Jack Gallagher bouncing off of that exposed turnbuckle. That may be enough to end the match right there. No, oh, now Gallagher getting up. He got up at just the right time. I think Swagger may have been looking for a Patriot lock. Jack Swagger's down. Jack Swagger, no. Oh, down he goes. Things are not looking good for Swagger right now. And the cover is it over. One, two, and a kick out at two from Jack Swagger. Gallagher complaining with the ref that that was three. It was definitely a two count, but oh no. What's Gallagher thinking? Oh, he missed. 
That jump off the second rope, and that may be the nail in the coffin. Swagger, no! No! Gallagher reverses the Patriot lock. Gallagher tossing Swagger into the corner in the exposed turnbuckle. But I do not think that's what Gallagher was looking for. I think this is what he wanted. And a drop kick. Swagger is down. Cover is it over one, two. And Jack Swagger somehow kicks out. What a match these two have put on. It is for one of the most prestigious titles in the WWE, the United States Championship. And a running bulldog from Gallagher. Was Jack Gallagher thinking now? Oh, elbow drop. And now... Jack Gallagher just walking around, swagger, now a stomp to the arm. Oh, we saw this before. He, he might be trying to break the arm of Jack Swagger, twisting it all the way around. Oh, but Swagger, Jack Swagger, a reversal, a knee to the gut, a kick to the chest, and another kick to the chest. Jack Swagger, he's fighting back. Swagger, no, gets reversed by Gallagher. And an uppercut. Down goes Jack Gallagher. Jack Swagger is in trouble right now. He needs to keep Gallagher out of this. He needs to keep him out of the match. And he's doing a pretty good job of doing that now. Trying his best to keep Jack Gallagher on the ground. Gallagher, he might be out of it. And Swagger... Squagger thinks so too. One, two, and a kick out at two from Jack Gallagher. Now, Gallagher reversing Swagger, tossing him to the floor. And is that going to be enough to end it? One, two, and no, a kick out at two from Swagger. Match just about ended there. What is Gallagher thinking? Tossed into the corner, Jack Gallagher, no, misses it, and Jack Swagger, neck breaker, Swagger might be looking to take this burst of momentum all the way, and Patriot lock locked in, Gallagher may have to tap, do we have a new US champion? Do we have a new United States champion? Yes, we do. Jack Gallagher taps out. And Jack Swagger has won the United States Championship. Look at these highlights. Let me write that in the record books as Jack Swagger. We need to check, actually, and make sure uh, he hasn't been the U.S. champion before. I know he's been a uh, world champion before, right? Let's see, new era. He was definitely in the new era. No, it wasn't in the new era. Jack Swagger is a one-time world champion. Let's see. This is in March. We'll call this, uh, well, we'll write Jack Swagger. U.S. One-time March... 24th. Jack Swagger reigns supreme as we head in.
I need to find exit. Okay, good. I didn't accidentally change the Here we go. Tag team match. Naomi makes her SmackDown Live debut teaming alongside the number one contender for the women's championship. The women's champion Jacqueline not competing here tonight. This match doesn't mean anything, but I still think it'll be a very good match. Beth Phoenix and Carmella take on Naomi and Bailey. It is, um, oops, it is my guess. That Naomi and Bailey will take this one because Beth Phoenix has gotten off to somewhat of a rocky start so far. One and one, not great, not bad. Carmella, and now her tag team partner. begins and oh Naomi starting off her Smackdown Live career with a drop kick and an enziguri and Naomi is starting off her career up on the main roster strong and perhaps looking to tag in her partner for the night Bailey and she does double take down there on Carmella now, Bailey, you could kind of consider this a warm-up for her match at on Sunday at Money in the Bank. And, well, that's a big match for Bailey. Like I said, a big match for Bailey. Big match for Jacqueline, the champion, too, because Jacqueline... <coughs> Jack won the title way back on, um, way really near the start. She went on January 2nd, so she's been holding the title for about, for almost three months now. And she wants to just continue her title reign as long as possible. That's what everyone wants to do, but she wants to, she wants to become the long, well, I think she already is the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion we have ever had. What is Beth Phoenix thinking here? That's a long way to jump. Beth Phoenix off the top rope. Bailey rolls out of the way. And now, oh, a punch in the face of Beth Phoenix. Let me get back to what I was saying about Beth Phoenix not having the best start here on SmackDown. 
In her debut match, she lost to the SmackDown Women's Champion Jacqueline in a Women's Championship match. She won last week, but it wasn't a great win, but it could definitely be the start of some momentum for her. But Bailey looking to stop that momentum very fast because you never know if Bailey is successful on Sunday. She does not want Beth Phoenix, one of the best women's wrestlers of all time, coming in on fire to fight her for the championship. She does not want Beth Phoenix to have a ton of momentum going into a fight with her if that happens. That is not something Bailey wants. As Bailey's really done a good job with a Bailey to belly. And one, two, three, one, two, and a kick out at two. But still, even though Phoenix kicked out, that was a that was a big move there from Bailey. The Bailey to Belly almost ending it. She's still not done. She doesn't really want to tag in Naomi. She wants to show that she can get it done no matter what. Though it is, it's definitely gonna help her knowing that she has Naomi in her corner if she really needs it. But I think she wants to show that she can get it done. Prove to Jacqueline that on Sunday she is going to have the biggest battle of her career. So, yeah, I mean, Bailey looking to prove that she is more than the normal superstar. Looking to prove that she is the next big thing. And... Bailey tags in Naomi. Oh, we saw this before. No, we haven't seen that before. Looks like Carmella may have been looking to make a hot tag over to Beth Phoenix, though Naomi able to keep her still once again, able to keep her out of her own corner, making it so she can't tag out. Oh, some furious Kicks there from Naomi, and, oh, what's Naomi thinking here, Naomi? Oh, spikes the face of Carmella into the mat, and now is it over? Um, what's this, what's this? Oh, submission hold locked in on Carmella. Are we going to see a second tap out here tonight? We saw Jack Gallagher tap out, but no, Carmella. Carmella fights out of it. We will not see two tap outs here tonight. Actually, we might. This match isn't over yet in our main event. Oh, I cannot wait for our main event. So now Carmella. Carmella fighting back. Bailey may have been yelling across the ring trying to get Naomi to tag her back in. She wants back in. She had time to regain her breath. She now... <coughs> She is now ready to come back into the match, try and win. Try and win it for his team and herself. Bailey. Bailey's feeling very confident, it seems. And knocks down Beth Phoenix. What's Bailey thinking now? Up. Oh no, Bailey getting Carmella up to the top rope. What is Bailey thinking? Bailey off the top rope! Oh, Hurricane Rana! Hurricane Rana off the top rope! Bailey! Bailey to belly! Is it over? Whoa! Oh, not even a one count. Beth Phoenix breaks it up. A takedown there, though, from Bailey. Is that enough? One, two, and a kick out at two. Bailey. Oh, elbow to the face of Bailey there from Carmella. <coughs> now Carmella gonna take the time to taunt. See Bailey on the out, or sorry, Naomi on the outside. Wonder what is going through her mind now in her debut match here on SmackDown. Hits, 
So, I mean, definitely a big match. Oh, Naomi saves Bailey. And now, oh no, Carmella's back. Wait! Oh, Naomi just fell on her face! No! What is Naomi doing? She's not allowed to be in the ring! What's Naomi thinking? Naomi flattening Carmella. Not letting Carmella get in any offense. And. Beth Phoenix got knocked down! I think Bailey may have been. Well, I think Carmella may have sidestepped Bailey. Bailey ran into the referee. The ref is down. What is Carmella thinking here? Over the top rope. No! Bailey! Stomping away on Carmella. Uh oh. What's Carmella thinking here? Carmella. A kick to the gut of Bailey, then slamming her down with a sit out power bomb. Uh oh, this match may be over. And oh no, 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 no! No! Bailey may have to tap out! But Naomi breaks it up. Down goes Naomi. And the cover is it enough to put away Bailey one? And a kick out at one from Bailey. <coughs> wait, wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, rope break. Bailey, Bailey. What's Bailey? Hey, gang. Taking down Carmella. Spear from the corner. Now, Bailey. Oh, elbow to the face, and now Bailey. I keep saying Bailey. Down goes Beth Phoenix. Carmella is out of it. If Bailey connects with his Bailey to Bailey, it's over. No, unable to get that. Wait, wait, one, two, and a kick out at two from Carmella. And no, a reversal there from Carmella. That was big. That may have just put Carmella back in this one. What's Carmella thinking here? Oh! Bailey's out of it. Bailey is out of it. Wait! Oh, what the heck again, Naomi? Naomi once again. Just assaulting Carmella. What is Naomi doing? Oh, a drop kick! Naomi looked like she was trying to take out Carmella some more. Inadvertently, it's the ref. Carmella realizing that the referee is down. Beth Phoenix is out of it. Phoenix is down. Still in the ring. Naomi! Drop kick! Phoenix has been knocked down. Everybody's out cold thanks to Naomi. One, two, oh, only a one count. Wow, but Naomi flattened everyone. One, two, Oh my god, did Naomi connect? Looks like her knee may have hit the face of Carmella, but other than that, not really. Oh, but Naomi's not the legal woman, so the pin doesn't matter. And oh, a double team maneuver here. Oh, what's Naomi thinking? What's Naomi thinking here? And oh, Naomi's not even the legal woman. She was trying to get Carmella to tap out. I don't think Carmella knows where she is. Things are not looking good for Carmella. 
and this this is turned into an assault on Carmella from Bailey and Naomi. Oh no! Oh wait! Wait! No! No! Carmella's gonna capitalize! Wait! Again! Keep waiting! Carmella's out of it. Bailey's out of it. Who's gonna get up first? Looks like Bailey gets back to her feet first. And now, down goes Carmella. And I think that will probably do it for the match. Dragging Carmella to the center of the ring. Oh! Down goes Beth Phoenix. One, two, elbow drop from Naomi. And Naomi and Bailey win. Look at these highlights. Bailey to belly to Beth Phoenix. Oh, this right here. Carmella. Oh, no, never mind. It wasn't that one. Carmella almost tapped out, but... Carmella got tagged in by Beth Phoenix and never got to tag out. <coughs> now, we have some big stipulations for this main event. The main event of the match. It is a fatal four ways table match. Whoever gets put through a table is sent over. To Monday Night Raw. And I am getting word. Well, because SmackDown's a land of opportunity. I am getting word that, well, next week on Raw, we begin, after Money in the Bank, we begin the Superstar Shake Up. And what a Superstar Shake Up that will be. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. One of these men will be forced to go to Monday Night Raw. Will it be one of the members of the club? You have to think, if one member of the club gets sent over to Raw, the other might want to join him. They have the same entrance. And from 
Obviously, I had the coolest entrance in all of WWE, but like I said, if you are put through a table, I'm not going to do that. That'd be kind of lame. If you are put through a table, you are sent over to Monday Night Raw. And personally, Champinator, well, I'm going to tell you, I don't want to go to Raw. I really do not. I mean, I've been world champion on SmackDown before. I've won the U.S. title on Smackdown before, I mean, me and Randall out, I don't know, maybe some point we'll go for the tag team gold as well. I don't want to leave Smackdown Live, I really do, I really do not want to leave the land of opportunity. The blue, bland, the blue brand is my brand. The blue brand is my brand, I, I like the blue brand. Blue Brand is where I want to stay and fight for good. And right now, I'm destroying Luke Gallows. I mean, I don't know. My my guess is that the club might want to team up. And, <coughs> like, I guess both try and take out one man or... Both. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to take out both. So you have to think maybe right now it's just a conquer and divide situation. Uh, see, because Gallo's taking out Champinator and Carl Anderson's taking out Eddie Guerrero. But Eddie, as I say that, Eddie Guerrero with a big reversal and a power bomb to Carl Anderson. And now stomping away on Champinator. Oh no. Everybody teaming up to take down Champinator. It didn't work out for anyone. Gallo's down. Guerrero down. Anderson's back to his feet. Now he's back down. And down goes Eddie Guerrero once again. And one more time down goes Luke Gallows. Now, Carl Anderson... From behind, oh no, you don't think, oh, I think Carl Anderson may have been looking for a sneaky victory there. Oh, a DDT to Carl Anderson. Oh no, I think Champinator may have been trying to take down Luke Gallows. And so Eddie Guerrero would just fall and hit the mat, but that didn't work. He took him down and Guerrero just changed his target and landed on Champinator. <coughs> that did not work out at all for Champinator. Oh no. Now Eddie Guerrero elbowed in the face. Now a punch to the face. Another punch to the face. Oh no. Now Gallows takes down Champinator. And Champinator being double teamed by Guerrero and Gallows. That might be the club strategy. Take out the former world champion. Take out the former Uni United States champion. I mean, I was both I was both U.S. and world champion at the same time. <coughs> I dropped the U.S. I gained the U.S. title after I won the, the world title, and I lost it before I won the world title. I'm not saying it was a good U.S. title reign. I held the world title for a decent amount of time. So, I mean, I'm saying I had a pretty decent world title reign, not so much U.S. title. But the club, their former choke slam to Champinator, their former tag team champions, Eddie Guerrero, former U.S. champion, the inaugural U.S. champion of 2K18. So, yeah. I mean... There's everybody in this match has held championship gold around their waist at least once. And down goes Champinator. There's a table in the ring. Eddie Guerrero probably about to knock it out. 
And Lou Gallows down goes Gallows. What's Guerrero thinking? Is Eddie Guerrero going to grab a table as well? Yes, he is. Eddie Guerrero not able to slide the table into the ring. But now, table set up in the corner. Gallows out of the ring. Wait, Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero is wielding a steel chair and a drop kick to Eddie. Elbow to the leg. And a clothesline down goes Carl Anderson. Uh-oh. Wait, no. Eddie Guerrero tossed into the wrong corner. And now the club. They're teaming up against each other. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The match might be over. Oh, no. And Carl Anderson is off. But you have to think. Luke Gallows put him through it. And... Well, the official word right now is that the that, that both members of the okay, so that that was actually a pretty smart strategy. Both members of the club <coughs> they're just gonna head off to Monday Night Raw. The club. But they can't just go over for nothing. That is why. Oh, that is why, well, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Sheamus and Cesaro are heading over to SmackDown Live. The inaugural Raw Tag Team Champions. <coughs> That's going to conclude SmackDown Live. Hope you enjoyed.